Let's design a PNID. What is a PNID? It is nothing more than a schematic version of AutoCAD, except it is built specifically for the process and instrumentation designs. Since it's a PNID thing of AutoCAD origin, you do have a separate AutoCAD PNID. You, it is also a part of Plan 3D. So if you have Plan 3D, you have full blown PNID functions and they are interchangeable. So now we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get rolling and start us a new one. Why don't we go ahead to this PNID drawing section? We'll right click on here and we'll choose new drawing. We're going to just call this one a demo and we'll keep everything else as default. As you notice, it's going to come up in paper space, but we do not have to leave it into paper space. I don't really care to draw in paper space right now. And I'd rather be in model space. So what I'm going to do is hover over this tag, which is uh, the one we're working on. And you can just switch it to model space right there. You'll see it comes up in model space, but you'll still have the barter of what the drawing area is. Now, we're going to be putting some equipment and pipes and valves in here. And I would like to have the ability to be able to snap. But I'd like to know the distance of my snaps and whatnot. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, you'll know that there is a snapping and a grid system in. If you notice, we can see the grid system right now in here. As I'm toggling on F7, toggling it on and off, I can take the grid on and off. Um, what I'll do is I will right click on right here. This is a snap mode. You could either type in snap mode if you wish, if you need to edit that. But I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to edit the snap settings. I want to make sure both of these are checked on. And right now the grid is spaced out at an eighth of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, but I want my snap settings to be at an eighth and I'm sorry, at an eighth of an inch as well, so that what I see is what I can snap to. You can do it any way you'd like. Okay, let's go ahead and OK that, and now we have our snaps on. So the first thing I want to do is add a piece of equipment in here, and right now you'll see that I have my PNID tool palette up. If yours is not up, make sure you go to your workspace settings and in other words, if you have still this one coming up, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and change that. Now, you can also change it from down here as well, where you see this little gear. So I'll just go ahead and change it to PNID PIP. And now I have the proper tool palette that's coming up. I want to throw a pump in here first. So I'm going to go ahead to the equipment and I'm going to grab the first pump that I see. And I am going to snap that in right there. As soon as I drop that pump in, I'm asked for some information about it. Uh, I'm not real particular about it at this point. So I'm going to say, go ahead and just give me the next available number. And I do want to place this annotation after I drop it in. So we'll just hit assign. And since I will be piping out of the top, I'll go ahead and drop this on the bottom. All right. So now I have pump 101. All right. Now that was easy enough. Also, what you can do if there's other changes you need to make, you can highlight over that and right click it. You can go into properties and there are items that you can change within the properties. You know, even if you wanted to change the number, you can go back into here and change the number again. So there's a lot of changes you can make from the properties itself. But right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw in a valve. So let's switch our PNID uh, palette here to valves. And I'm going to throw this control valve in. And I'm going to snap that in right there. And I'll go ahead and I'll do it pretty much the same way that we did before. But I'll just go ahead and assign this tag. And it's telling you that it's a control valve, but we haven't specified any line information or anything yet. So I just wanted to show you how that would work. I'll go ahead and I can just take that one off. But I do want what I do want to highlight right now is that there's a couple of things that I can edit on here before we do anything else. Now you can edit what type of valve you want and what type of actuator that you want. So what I can do here is I can go into here and I can go through the different valves that I have. Just kind of reviewing some of these. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it set right here at the butterfly valve. 
or I could go in and I could switch it to that. But let's go ahead and put it back the way that it was at a butterfly valve. And let's go to the actuator. And let's change this to a hand wheel actuator. All right, so we've actually adjusted those within the using the substitution drop down. Okay, we also have another thing if we click on to here, you'll see that you have a grip right there, and that grip can be used to move this. So you can move each part of that individually if you want to. Okay, so now let's take a look at taking a line and control and uh, piping these up. We'll go ahead with a primary line and we'll snap that into here. And we really don't have to, if we go ahead and just find where we want, PNID will find us a path over here. And we'll go ahead and just do that. Okay, good enough. All right, so we've kind of piped this up a little bit, but we need to give some information to this pipe. So let's go ahead and hover over here. And we're going to assign some information to it. So let's go ahead and say that it is a, we'll say it's a three inch pipe. And we're just going to pick some specs at random and make sure it has a service. And let's just go ahead and give it a service group number. And then we'll go ahead and we'll annotate that one as well so we can see what pipeline we're dealing with. All right. So it's telling us we have a three inch carbon steel, 150 pound atmospheric vent pipe, and it is in line 101. So if we go over here and we click the information for this one, let's go ahead and get a more detailed properties. That was a quick properties. You'll see that this tag it didn't take the uh, information from that other, but we can adjust that. We have something called a schematic line edit. And the schematic line edit, we can link this pipe information with this pipe information over here. So what we can do is we can go through the schematic line edit, and then we can say link. And then we can link it to this over here. And so what it's telling you is that this data is going to be deleted and linked over replaced. So let's just say yes. And now if we add an assign tag to this, we see everything is the same. So now we have linked lines there. Another thing that you can do with schematic line edit is that you can also do things like reverse the flow of the lines. Let's say it has to go the other way. So that's just a couple of things that you can do with that. So now what we've done, we've put some equipment down, we put some piping, we've substituted a valve, and we have tagged and did, we did some annotations. So that gives you a little bit more idea of how to get started with just the basics on an AutoCAD PNID.